unit 3 that is inverse laplace transform since the set of formulas are given in the class regular classes so instead of uh, using much time on that let us go for the simple sums and whenever it is required i will come back to the formula set of formulas it is unit 3 inverse laplace transform the first one i'll start with that is 3s square 4 divided by s power 5 here what we do exactly is we are finding laplace inverse of the given function so let me write like this now what i'll do i'll take this laplace inverse for each and every term separately i mean to say 3 into l inverse of s square divided by s power 5 here for the first time, first term i have taken laplace inverse separately whereas for the second one 4 into laplace inverse of 1 divided by s power 5 and this will be 3 into l inverse of 1 divided by s cube and the second remains same till we apply the standard formula so th this i will write it as 3 into t raised to 3 minus 1 divided by 3 minus 1 factorial plus 4 into this is t raised to 5 minus 1 divided by 5 minus 1 factorial and that is nothing but 3 into t square divided by 2 factorial and plus 4 t power 4 divided by 4 factorial and when we simplify this this gives 2 factorial is 2 whereas this is 24 so this gives 3 t square by 2 and this is t power 4 by 6 and here for your reference I will be writing the standard formula so that you will understand it little in a more better way here I can write since L inverse of 1 divided by S raised to N is T raised to N minus 1 divided by N minus factorial N minus 1 factorial this is first example hope you understood it then similarly i will go for the second one second example also i have chosen a bit similar to this and that is 1 divided by s raised to 5 by 2 the difference between this first example and this second example is just look at the uh, value of n in first example it's a natural number s raised to 5 was there in denominator whereas here this is a fraction so the second formula we are going to use it l inverse of 1 divided by s power 5 by 2 this i'll write it as t raised to 5 by 2 minus 1 and this is gamma of 5 by 2 so definitely the formula will be formula is 1 divided by s raised to n this will be t raised to n minus 1 into gamma of n <coughs> yes plus 1 this is this is second formula i have used so that s raised to n yes okay this will be t raised to 3 by 2 and gamma of 5 by 2 can be written as 
half that is t raised to 3 by 2 divided by 3 by 4 into this is standard value that is root pi. So this I can write it as 4 t raised to 3 by 2 and the denominator is 3 into root pi. See depending on the value of n here it is a natural number 1, 2, 3, 4 and all I have taken this formula whereas this is the second one. So I have taken here this as 1 divided by s raised to n plus 1 is t raised to n gamma of n. This is the difference. When to use which formula you should be aware of that. Then moving towards the third one L inverse of 1 upon 2s square plus 9. When we compare the first two examples and the third one, here these are in denominator if you look at this a single function is there and it is in the form of 1 divided by s raised to n. Here this is, this is not in the standard form. Why it is not in the standard form? Because in standard form either it will be s square plus a square or s square minus a square. So the given example it is not in that standard form. So we have to reduce it to the standard form before we find the inverse. So here what I will do? I will take this 1 by 2 as common outside the bracket so that 1 divided by s square plus this 9 I can write it as 3 and 2 I can write it as root 2 and will square the entire term so that it will be if I remove the bracket it will be 9 divided by 2 only the same one. So this is 1 by 2. Now if you look at this it is in the standard form of L inverse of 1 divided by S square plus A square. What is the formula? This is 1 by A into sin A T is the formula. So just make use of that and I will be writing here this as A is what 1 by so reciprocal by T sin A T. A T is here 3 by root 2 and T. So which gives 1 divided by 3 into root 2. 2 is written as root 2 into root 2. One set will get cancelled. So 3 into root 2 and sin 3 by root 2 t. The one advantage of writing the standard formulas in different color uh, by using the chalks or different color chalks I am using, the intention is just to highlight it. Then coming for the next one. L inverse of 3s minus 4 divided by 16 minus s square. Again look at this the denominator. This is in the form of a square minus a, uh, s square which is not there in the standard set of formula. So either you have to uh, multiply and divide by the minus sign or yes you have to multiply and divide it by minus sign that will be better or take separately and then multiply it. So we will be writing this constant I will be writing it outside 3 into L inverse of I will write S divided by 16 minus S square minus 4 into L inverse of 1 divided by 16 minus S square. Here only you can take the minus sign outside. No problem. So now what I will do? I will write this as minus 3 L inverse of S divided by S square minus 16. Similarly, now this minus will become plus 4 into L inverse of 1 divided by S square minus 16. So that the first one is minus 3. What it is? See here. Again I will be writing the standard formula for this. L inverse of 
s divided by s square minus a square is cos hyperbolic ht. So now this is 3 into, I will write cos hyperbolic 4t and plus this is 4. See this is 1 divided by s square minus a square in that. So 4 divided by 4 and sin hyperbolic 4t. So this is sin hyperbolic 4t minus 3 cos hyperbolic 4t. This is the final answer. So moving towards the next example. It's the fifth one. Fifth example. Based on the examples I have solved from our first two examples. Based on that, this homework sum, you can try this. I am going to answer, uh, give answer for this. So that once you solve, you can compare your answer with the given answer. This is the example. Hint I will be giving, this is uh, root S is there, so make use of uh, 1 plus half and all that, simplify that and then use the appropriate formula. Answer for this example will be 2 divided by root pi is taken common throughout root t minus 2t root t and minus 4 divided by root t. Please solve, try to solve this example. Answer also is given. So these uh, four examples I have solved, those were very simple examples just to make you familiar with this uh, set of standard formulas so far we have given in the uh, class. So now moving towards the next one, here we are going to discuss few properties. Properties. So in that, I have to mention those. This also it is given in the class still. First one is computation of the inverse transform of e power minus a s and f bar of s. See for this the result which we have used already in Laplace transform just write that in a reverse way. So we are familiar with this Laplace of f of t minus a into u of t minus a will be e raised to minus k f and f bar of s. So this implies, see this result we know in Laplace transform. The same result I will be writing in, in inverse form. So L inverse of, note this step, e raised to minus a f, f bar of s will be, this L goes here, will be f of t minus a into u of t minus a. This is the first result or property we can say to be remembered. And coming to the second one, it is finding the inverse transform by completing the square by completing the square. We know that 
laplace of e raised to at f of t is equal to what was the uh, formula we used to uh, use the property f bar of yes we used to replace it by f minus a so now here l inverse of i am writing it has to be e power at and f of t this second property this is the second property now coming for the next one it is third one see finding the inverse transform whenever the functions are either logarithmic or they are inverse functions in that again same we know that this property we have used second property it was in laplace transform what is that laplace of t raised to n f of t what we used to write it was minus 1 raised to n d raised to n d s raised to n of f bar of s right similarly when we proceed in this way the final step suppose i am writing L inverse of union. I'll write this as minus f dash bar n of yes. So when it is minus f dash bar of yes, then it will be t f of t. L inverse of f double dash. So now here minus one into minus one. So here it will be positive sign. F double dash bar of s will be t square and f of t. In this way it will proceed. And the fourth one and the last one here in this concept that is we know that this result. We have studied zero to t, f of t dt will be f bar s divided by s. So if we are writing inverse of the same, f bar s divided by s, and that is equal to zero to t, f of t, and dt. so make sure that we are going to remember these properties the first one is computation of the inverse transform of e raised to minus as f bar of s this result you have to remember means whenever in any given function if e raised to minus as or plus as comes then in that form we have to write it whereas the second one by completing the square completing the square in that case it is e raised to at and f of at note this s minus a here we are writing it in the form of e raised to at third one n defines the number of uh, differentiations here how many times we are going to uh, differentiate that if it is only dash dash means we know that is only one time double dash twice triple dash thrice and so on and the next one is laplace of 0 to t integration 0 to t f of t dt is this it is the result which we have studied earlier in laplace transform when we set the inverse for this rhs and that time answer should be this now what we will do depending on these four properties few examples i have chosen and we will try to understand those examples for the time being let the results be here properties set of properties 
so that uh, whenever it is required we can come back to that and make use of it first one is 1 plus e power minus 3s divided by s square so obviously for this you have to just check these all four properties and if you concentrate at this the best fitting will be the first one obviously because the given function contains e raised to minus a s form in the second half whereas a is 3 so first what I will do I will write it separately L inverse of 1 divided by s square plus L inverse of e power minus 3s divided by s square. This is the regular one, 1 divided by s raised to n. So what is the formula for that? T raised to n minus 1 divided by n minus 1 factorial. Whereas here it comes. We know that 1 divided by s square will be just t. So that I have to write in this form. That I have to write in this form. So naturally that will be T S. T minus A into U of T minus A. Here since you can write A is 3 by property 1. I have written that. So that when we simplify the answer is 2 sorry t and plus t minus 3 into u of t minus 3. This is the first example. What I have done? The given function is this. In the first step I have taken Laplace inverse separately for each term so that this is 1 divided by s square plus L inverse of e power minus 3s divided by s square. This term don't contain any e raised to minus a s term. So it is free from that. Just make use of the standard formula. That is L inverse of 1 divided by s square means the appropriate formula to be used is t raised to n minus 1 divided by n minus 1 factorial. Since it contains e raised to minus a s term, so same like this function that is its answer 1 divided by s square is t, we know that. Then that is t minus a u of t minus a. What is a here? a is 3. Again based on property 1 only, one more sum I have chosen, that is 3 divided by s square plus 2 divided by e raised to minus s divided by s cube minus 3 e power minus 2s and divided by s. Yes. See, find the inverse Laplace transform is the understood heading for all these examples in common. So now what I will do? And that is equal to 2 by s square. What I am doing here? I am taking inverse, Laplace inverse for each and every term separately 2 into L inverse of e power minus s by s cube minus Laplace inverse of e power minus 2s divided by s. So now what I will do? See we know this formula now. Since Laplace inverse of 1 divided by s raised to n when n is a natural number is t raised to n minus 1 divided by n minus 1 factorial. I am going to make use of this formula wherever it is required now. Along with that property 1. Why property 1? Because this is e raised to minus a s. Again here if you see e raised to minus a s whereas this is a standard one. 
standard result only I have to write. So I'll write this as 3 into I will write p raised to 2 minus 1 divided by 2 minus 1 factorial plus this 2 is as it is now. I will be writing here 1 by s cube is there. 1 by s cube means what it will become? t raised to 3 minus 2 divided by 3 minus t raised to 3 minus 1 divided by 3 minus 1 factorial. Hope you are getting connected with this what I am writing. And this will be t square divided by 2 factorial which is 2. Am I right? So now what I will do? In this form. Function is what? Now I have to write this as a is here 1. So I will write t minus 1. Square I have to write. So square into u of t minus a and divided by 2. And here this minus 3 is there. 1 by s is 1 only. And into u of I will write t minus 2. So the final answer will be 3t plus t minus 1 bracket square into u of t minus 1 minus 3 into 1 into u of t minus 2 is the answer. What we have done here? The first example was it was containing means separate two terms were there if you split it and we have applied e raised to minus a that is property 1 for the term which contains e raised to minus a s whereas the second one these three different terms are there separate terms are there I mean to say then for each term Laplace inverse is taken separately this comes under the standard form so I have written for the remaining two along with standard form we have to make use of property 1 since they contain or since they uh, expressed in e raised to minus a s form and this is the solution. Let us move for the next one. And is the third one here e power minus pi s divided by s square plus 1 plus s upon s square plus 4 and e power minus 2 pi s. If you look at this, both of the terms contain e raised to minus a s form. In that form they are expressed. So here first if it could be 1 divided by s square plus 1 what will be the what would be the standard formula. Second one if it is look at this since we know that one divided by s square plus one means what it is in the form of l inverse of one divided by s plus a square and here that is one divided by s square plus one square what is the answer one by a a is one here and sine a t right the second one if i am writing look at this it is s divided by s square plus a square is the general one. In particular, L inverse of s divided by s square plus 4. 4 is 2 square and that is cos a t. a is 2. So now coming for the solution that is I will be writing now sin t minus a. a is pi here and u of t minus pi and the second one is cos 2 t i will be writing in the form of t minus 2 pi into u of 
t minus 2 pi so here make use of the standard results again sin u of t minus pi and this is cos 2t and u of t minus 2 pi in this particular example given is like this so if you compare that with the standard one here this is 1 divided by s square plus 1 whereas the second one is s divided by s square plus 4 these two are the standard form standard results can be implemented for that directly so the first one is l inverse of 1 divided by s square plus 1 where a is 1 that is sine a t here it will be sine t whereas second one L inverse of S divided by S square plus 4 and that will be cos A T. A here in this particular case it is 2 and hence this is the solution. That is sine of T minus pi U of T minus pi plus cos 2 T should be written in this form. If you simplify this is the result. So as I told you one more homework sum I will be giving here. Please try to solve that. With answer I will be giving so that you can compare the with the given example. The given example. So the homework sum based on this property is 1 minus e power minus s. into 2 minus e power minus 2s divided by s cube and the answer is 2t minus t minus 1 bracket square and u of t minus 1 minus t minus 2 bracket square u of t minus 2 plus the last term will be t minus 3 bracket square u of t minus 3 and again this also is divided by 2. Here this is divided by 2. Try to solve this example. Then as I told here four properties we have discussed. These Three examples I have solved on property first and one I have given for homework. Hope you will solve that. Now I will go for the second property which is that whenever the examples means if given is not in the standard form. In that case we have to go for completion of square of the denominator. Denominator we take and we uh, by adding subtracting some terms and balancing it we make it perfect square so that the standard form can be used for the given example. So, I will be writing that just to avoid the confusion better I write inverse transform by completing square. So your first one I will start with very simple example and the standard one. So this is S plus 5 divided by S square minus 6S plus 13. See look at the denominator it is not in the standard form and as it is no formula can be used to find the inverse of the given function. So what we have to do here as the title I have written here, we have to make the complete square. So let me write this denominator. This we have studied in PUC also, how to make the complete square. So now the method by what I teach is, look at this term, whether this is plus 2s or minus 2s, this is minus, means it will be s minus something complete square. It will come like that. So what I will do, 
yes square means a square minus 2 a b i don't know see here this is 6 minus sign i have taken already 6 means 2 has to be multiplied by 3 then add the same numbers by making it square and to balance it the same number has to be subtracted and can't leave this 13 that is last number if you look at this this will be here a square minus 2ab plus b square will be a minus b what is b here just minus 3 bracket square minus 9 and plus 13 I am talking about these two so that this will be s minus 3 bracket square and plus 4 I will write this as 2 square now in given example L inverse of S plus 5 divided by S square minus 6 S plus 13 is the example. Look at this L inverse of. For the time being, we will concentrate only in denominator. This S square minus 6 S plus 13, I will replace that by S plus 2 square. What we have to do in numerator is, this yes I have to write in s yes minus 3. Same like this. s yes minus a has to be same in numerator and denominator. s yes minus 3 I will write. And <coughs> plus I will add here 8. If you simplify the numerator, see it. s yes minus 5 plus, uh, s yes minus 3 plus 8 will be s yes plus 5. Means nothing changed in how it is going to help us? Now it is in the form of S minus A. Raise to, while writing the answer, I will write this as E raised to AT. That is 3T. A is 3. Note this step. Now, it will be divided by Hope you understood this. First, I have completed the square by taking this denominator and few terms I have to take uh, to write it in the standard form same as S minus A which is there in the denominator. So when the denominator is S minus 3 bracket square plus 2 square, the same I have written here just to uh, the numerator should be same. For that, S plus 5 I have written in the form of S plus 3 with uh, yes minus 3 within the bracket and outside plus 8 if we simplify it's the same one previous one so that while writing e raise oh, yes minus a yes minus a so i have written e power 3t then yes plus 8 divided by this yes square and plus 2 square so now that is e power 3t the same step i'll be writing here so that you will understand it little bit in a more better way. Two square. Like this, I have written. Look at this. L inverse of taking inverse separately for these terms into L inverse of square plus two square. Whereas e power three t is common throughout e power 3 tail right now this is s divided by s square plus a square is cos a t a is 2 here plus this 8 1 divided by s square plus a square is 1 by a and sine 2 t so that e power 3 t cos 2 t plus 4 sin 2t is the answer. L inverse of S plus 5 divided by S square minus 6S plus 13 is equal to this. Hope you are getting it. Given example is S plus 5 divided by S square minus 6S plus 13. Here we have made 
the complete square of this denominator by adding and subtracting. What I was telling, you have to check this sign. If here plus is there, then definitely yes plus something we are going to get, bracket square. If here minus is there, then yes minus some term, bracket square. So yes square, a square in that form. Minus 2ab will be there. Minus 2, this yes I know. Since it is 6, it has to be multiplied by 3. Which number you will take? Square it, add once, subtract one, and uh, once, and last. Include the term left out here. And that is, if you look at this, yes square minus 2ab plus b square, which is yes minus 3 bracket square. 3 square is 9, and this 13. That is, yes minus 3 bracket square plus 4, which is written as 2 square. And here, it is, the denominator is replaced by that. And when you apply the property, second one, in that case, e raised to 3t, a is 3 here, and l inverse of, this one step is very, very important. l inverse of, this f term, with this it will come, because s minus a is no more here, since we have used this. And the denominator is s square plus 2 square. And we have written the terms here separately and by making use of standard formula, s divided by s square plus a square is cos 2t plus 8 and 1 divided by s square plus a square is 1 by a sin a t and this is the answer. Now let us go for the second one in completion of square, complete the square Laplace inverse. So I'll start the second example from this end, that is 2s two 2s two plus 1 divided by s square plus 3s plus 1. Again look at the denominator. So what we have to do? We have to make the complete square, perfect square of this, 3s plus 1. Again, I am telling you the same thing here. This is plus some s yes term, so that I will write plus 2. A is there. Here we need 3 is there here, so I will take 3 by 2, so that if these 2 will get cancelled, I will get again 3s. So what this b term is there, as I told, square it and add it once and balance it by subtracting and include the last term. So that if you look at this, a square plus 2ab plus b square in that form. So yes plus 3 by 2 bracket square. Minus, here this is 9 by 4, <coughs> yes plus 3 by 2 square, yes, same you have to take, so this is 4, minus 5 by 4, minus 5 by 4 we get, that I will write it as, yes plus 3 by 2 bracket square, minus 5, I will write it as root 5 divided by 2 and bracket square. So now, coming back to the given example, now 2s plus 1 divided by 
this denominator I am going to replace by that that is <coughs> S plus 3 by 2 square minus root 5 by 2 <coughs> sorry bracket square so now what I said look at this denominator the same term in the same way the numerator should be then only we can implement the formula when the function contains s in numerator so that I will write this as L inverse of 2 then in bracket s plus 3 by 2 that is fixed so now see here when I simplify this 2s plus 6 it will be no, plus 3 it will be and just to balance that here 1 is there so minus I will write this as 2 divided by hope this is clear 2s plus 1 2 as I told in place of s I have written this as s plus 3 by 2 if you simplify or if you remove the bracket 2s plus this 2 and 2 will get cancelled 3 I will get but here 1 is there so 3 minus 2 I will do so that I will get it 1 that is here it is e raised to s plus a it is so e raised to minus 3 by 2 t and l inverse of this 2s and this term will come L inverse of 2s minus 2 divided by s square minus root 5 by 2 bracket square so that e power minus 3 by 2 t now I can write this 2 outside and then within the bracket L inverse of S divided by S square minus root 5 by 2 bracket square and minus L inverse of since the 2 is outside the bracket I have to write 1 upon S square minus root 5 by 2 bracket square. This is 2 e raised to minus 3 by 2 it is in the standard form which is that s divided by s square minus a square that is cos hyperbolic root 5 by 2 it is cos hyperbolic root 5 by 2 t whereas look at this 1 divided by s square minus a square what should I write minus I will write first 1 by a 1 by a is 2 by root 5 into sin a t so that when I simply and this will be 2 by root 5 sin root 5 by 2 the answer first example which I have solved here minus sign was there and that gave us here yes minus some term whereas here this plus sign is there as I told obviously it will be yes plus a form and the working procedure is same like the first one first we have made it square denominator we replaced by that numerator we have adjusted like that and then e raised to minus 3 by 2t is taken out and the remaining terms are 2s minus 2 2s minus 2 denominator s square minus root 5 by 2 square since both the terms contain 2 2 is removed out taken common e raised to minus 3 by 2 Laplace inverse is take, uh, it is taken separately for 
uh, each term and by making use of the standard results this is the final answer now coming for the next one this is third one Yes, square upon yes plus one bracket cube. So this is totally different when we compare this particular example with the previously solved two examples. So here, what we have to do here, let us write this yes square. in terms of yes plus 1 but how see yes square i'll write it as yes plus 1 bracket square minus 2 yes and minus 1 means what when i simplify this see here yes square plus 2 yes plus 1 minus 2 yes and minus 1 i'll get these two are going to get cancel these two are going to get cancel that will be yes square means nothing changed even though we have written yes in in uh, in the form of yes plus 1 and again this write it of see here yes plus 1 bracket square again this yes i'll replace it by yes plus 1 and then plus 2 minus 1 the same terms i have written only in a different form see yes
plus plus 1 by 2 bracket square plus root 2 bracket square. What will be the next step? What I say? Now we have to write the numerator exactly in the form of S plus A or S minus A which the denominator contains. So 7 in bracket.